Namaste, good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, all. Welcome to the morning session. Ji, Namaste, Sunil Ji. Sabhi ko Namaste. Good morning. Welcome. We can start our sharing. Ji, Didi. Today we have two sharing in English. One by Arvind Thayya, another by Ruby Didi. Namaste, Arvind Thayya. My guest first to you. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. I will put your brief introduction and then you can face your sharing within 20 minutes. So, Bhaiya, uh, Dr. H.R. Arvind is an assistant professor in the Department of Mathematics, Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore. He attended uh, the first uh, introductory USB FTP in May 2021 and uh, USB 2 in August 2022. He attends the morning batch, morning sessions from sixth batch onwards. And he's also part of the registration, online registration in the FTPs and uh, Canada translation. So with this brief introduction, I welcome Arvind Thaya for the sharing in the morning session. Thaya, over to you. Thank you, Bhaya. Uh, I'll just introduce uh, myself and I'll just continue that. Uh, uh, as Baya introduced, I am an assistant professor in uh, Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore. So I have attended uh, the UHV 1 and UHV 2. I have attended UHV 1 online and UHV 2 face-to-face -face at uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Nandiala. So I am uh, uh, in. I am living in Bangalore with my wife, uh, Sandhya, and uh, my son, uh, Pranav, and my daughter, Pranati. So with, uh, I am attending after, uh, attending these morning sessions from uh, November 2022. So these morning sessions are helping me to connect to the content, uh, explore the proposals, improve my understanding. Uh, so these, uh, especially these morning sessions may uh, are making me to uh, uh, are helping me a lot. Uh, uh, so with this, I'll just explain the my understanding about the exercises one and two. So uh, the first point that is uh, 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 the observation of the imagination. See, in most of the situations, uh, I'm able to observe the my imagination. So, however, however, some desires or the expectations are still still there. So I'm sometimes I'm uh, get disturbed by the my expectations and other things, but I am able to note that uh, whether the uh, whether the outside things are uh, making me disturb or uh, my expectations are making me to do so. So uh, and uh, is the feeling that you have at this moment is uh, naturally acceptable for you or not? See, I am able to observe my feelings which are uh, naturally accept acceptable and which feelings are, na uh, are not naturally acceptable. I am able to observe that the feeling, uh, feeling of relationship is, uh, uh, is natural to me and uh, uh, feeling of relationship is natural to me. And I want to be, uh, I want to be in harmony. I want to be happy with every feeling. My assumptions and the expectations from the others, uh, others and the events, use it to create the disharmony and unhappy feeling within me. So, but I know that. But now I, I know that I am responsible for my harmony and the happiness. So, the deciding part of the feeling. So feeling of happiness or unhappiness is entirely up to me. It has no impact uh, uh, of the others. In some situations, I am unhappy because when I expect from the others or the events outside, feeling of happiness is decided by me, not the others or the events. Still, I have some moments of uh, uh, moments or the events in which I am depending upon the others or the outside events, uh, outside world events. But uh, I know that I am the one who is able to make myself happy or unhappy. Uh, I have to improve my competence in this regard. So when, uh, on what basis did you decide the feeling uh, that you have at this moment? 
when my feeling is based on the understanding i am able to observe that i am happy i can see the difference in feeling whenever the deciding factor is based on the right understanding or the assumptions so feeling of relationship uh, harmony and the coexistence is naturally acceptable to me i have observed that the feeling of opposition creates uh, disharmony in me so which is not naturally acceptable the opposing tendency is due to the lack of the understanding or lack of the relationship or lack of awareness about the coexistence so i am able to observe that uh, the feeling that i have at this moment is naturally naturally ac- acceptable or not whether it lead to the harmony or disharmony my existence is the by the way of the coexistence not by the struggle so this is about the uh, exercise 1 and in the exercise uh, in earlier uh, two sessions i could not able to differentiate uh the difference between the self and the body i always uh, tend to uh, associate myself with the body that is i could not able to differentiate it but now i am able to observe that um the the coexistence of the self and the body and how to give the instructions to the uh, body uh, body what to do what not to do and what are the things that i can take which will help uh, help me to keep uh, the um, means the health as well as uh, uh, my body fit and fine and in those things in most situations uh, uh, most of the situations i decide uh, what instructions are to be given to the body and which sensations are to be read from the body in some times uh, sensations dominate me in taking the decisions like intake of the food a uh, discomfort in the body uh, in these situations i will associate myself with the body means i have the some um, uh, means um, most of but i know that i can uh, take the decisions but uh, some of the sensations or some of the um, discomfort in the body makes me uh, un, uh, makes me to think i i am the i am the body see uh, uh regarding while reading the sensation whether i am the sensation or not while reading the sensation i can observe that some sensations and in some other some other dominant even though i i know that the difference between the self and the body in some in some situations i associated uh, associate with with the body and the sensation uh this uh, my interactions with the uh, body and the world outside is the by way of sensation over the years uh, the accumulated information plays an important role in my interactions with the body and the outside world through these morning sessions uh, morning session exercises i am correcting my correcting my assumptions pre preconditions in terms these changes are the corrections helping me to respond to the other are to these situations so uh, this is uh, i tend to react if my sanskar means uh, especially this uh, the earlier pre pre uh, pre conditions and the assumptions uh, if they are and uh, based on the right understanding i tend to uh, respond or if i have some assumptions uh, which are not on uh, on the basis of the right understanding i tend to react so i am the coexistence in the space uh, of the body this this <clears throat> this concept uh, how to get to explore uh, still i have something uh, i'll relate myself with the body the, uh, that changes i need to observe it so finally i'll just sum up the some of my major observations which i had i have uh, able to observe myself Uh, that is uh, i used to uh, I, i have reduced my in, uh, imagination of living in the past and future means i used to dwell in the past or in the future uh, thinking the uh, the previous incidents and other things uh, the observe uh, the uh, what is called uh, the observation making me to 
uh, think whether these are all naturally acceptable or not, whether this is going to be happened, whether I, uh, this imagination is right or wrong, that making me to uh, th- uh, reduce my imagination. Now I am able to observe the difference in behavior and the improved moments of happiness before and after UHV. Uh, I have improved a lot uh, in this regard because my ab- ab- uh, imagination, because of my imagination, my behavior and the moments of happiness uh, improved. I am able to communicate uh, better with my wife, children and other family members and the colleagues. I used to do many things in op- uh, in opposition or I used to do the things with the compulsions which lead to the unhappiness or the disharmony in me. I had the habit of do- doubting the intention of the others in their words, acts, uh, all those things. So I used to t- think of each and every one like that. This attitude of me making me unhappy uh, so therefore, I had I changed that uh, uh, means uh, doubting the intention of the other. This others also have the same intention as I have. So which uh, this change has made me uh, um, means uh, making me to feel happy with uh, with the others also. While taking the uh, while in discussions with the others, uh, others I used to react more and interrupt interrupt more. Now I will listen to the other and I will also check my feelings during these discussions. Whether the, whatever the feeling I have, is it right or wrong? Uh, if it is right, how to do? If it is wrong, how to, uh, how to change it and uh, all those things. See, uh, after, uh, uh, I mean, so far I have done uh, three events, uh, events uh, like my daughter's naming ceremony, my son's uh, open item and uh, my cousin's marriage. I did the two events, uh, uh, earlier two, uh, two events before the uh, attending this UHV. Uh, and after, uh, after attending UHV, I did one event that is my cousin's marriage. Uh, I can see my behavior. Behavior means handling the situations, prepare, uh, means handling the situation and uh, re- how to respond to the people, how to stay calm and all those things, which uh, uh, I w- means I found uh, a, a greater change while uh, doing the last event, that is my cousin's uh, uh, marriage. There, uh, I am the re- I did the, the, all the arrangements, uh, everything. Uh, means uh, I am... I am more calm, composed. I am able to respond to the uh, people and the situations uh, in that. So this is about my uh, um, my changes uh, in the last. Uh, uh, means I am able to understand uh, in the attending these morning sessions. Uh, morning sessions. In the last three months, I am not able to devote much time to for the voluntary work. So I'll try to do that. So I thank uh, Sharmila Didi, Shunil Kumar Bhaya, Tara Prasanna Bhaya, Kumar Sambhavi Bhaya and other co-explorers. So I, am, I want to continue the same. Uh, I think I thank the Thank you, Bhaya. Yeah. Nice, Bhaya. Nice. Thank you so much for the crisp sharing. You also given some other changes uh, and your observations regarding the exercises. So nice, Bhaya. And uh, I also cherish the time when we meet, when we met in Bangalore, uh, during the Arna City workshop in last uh, uh, November. So there was a nice yes. moment. We are going to meet again <laughs> next month. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, we have questions from our quiz for us. Uh, Shantaya, namaste. Ji, ji, namaste, Sabiko. Good morning, all of you. Ji, Arvind Bhaiya, can you hear me properly? Yeah, yes, Bhaiya. Yeah, I can hear you. <clears throat> Very nice sharing, Arvind Bhaiya, trying to uh, differentiate between self and body. Bhaiya, one thing is not clear to me. Uh, initially, you were, find, you were finding uh, self and body as a, uh, one unit, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Initially. 
So what yes. especially you are thinking of, whether it is a self or whether it is a body, please. So I myself identify with the body itself. Means um, mm, uh, especially I had some health issues like uh, blood pressure and other things. Means mm. I used to imagine a lot. Uh, means especially after this COVID, I suffered two times COVID, and in you know, I. Uh, I uh, I was not listening to the news for some time because uh, all sorts of you uh, means who have uh, suffered COVID uh, if they have this blood pressure and they are going to means they have much more risk. So uh, all those things were uh, information whether it is going to happen or not. But uh, I used to have a, I had a fear because of all these news because I used to identify myself with the body. So then I I able to with this content I just gone through again and again again and again. Uh, now I can see that difference. So whatever may happen to happen to the body, it will happen. So I no need to worry about it. Uh, so with that uh, that uh, somewhat clear clarity in that, now I am happy. Even though I hear any news regarding such things, I won't. Uh, uh, imagine a lot, so I'll just keep quiet myself. But I am doing something uh, which can keep my body also fit. If the sensations in the body are less, I will also be more calm and cool like that. I am doing. So yeah, yeah. Thank you. So this is the change after going through his morning sessions and UHV, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. yes. Yeah, but still, <laughs> during your this conversation, you are telling I can. Say myself with the body, something like that, no? I can see, even though I have the information of self and body, mm -hmm. and in some situations are very simple, easy to tell, this is body, this is self. And mm -hmm. in some some uh, some instances, uh, I may associate uh, the myself with the body. It's not uh, entirely, uh, I am different, body is different. Uh, like that, I cannot, uh, means uh, I tend to, um, means uh, hold that uh, body, that is self and body concept uh, sometimes. That is what I am, I think. Uh, okay, I, okay. Mean, means, uh, I was telling. Means now you can see the coexistence, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot for nicely sharing. All the best, Bhaiya. Namaste, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Prasant Bhaiya. Uh, now we move on to uh, Srinivas Gupta Ji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, Shatula Ji. Uh, namaste to all my co-explorers. Uh, namaste, Arvind Bhaiya Ji. Uh, namaste, Namaste, Bhaiya. My question is simple. Uh, because of uh, the change in your thought process of OHV, do you find any behavioral change in your students or understanding students uh, before OHV and after OHV? Uh, the way you deal with the students, it changed? Do you have any observations regarding that? Uh, yes, Bhaiya. Especially I can find myself. I will see an approach. Uh, how, how can I improve the competence of the student? Means uh, earlier, no, I, if they behave, uh, means if their behavior is not good. Uh, I seeing some their gestures itself, I used to be un, uh, feel unhappy. Uh, they are not respecting me. They are not listening to me. Like this, I used to feel. Now what I'll do, I'll move around the class. Uh, I'll uh, uh, call the student or I'll uh, last test, last uh, semester, this semester itself, I told one uh, student to come to the first branch. And I, it was a numerical method, so I was following it. Uh, instead of telling any other thing, I uh, asked her to tell what is this value, what is this value. And she has improved in the internals also after conducting the internals. Means I can see how can I participate more rather than uh, depending upon the students. So which will help, especially I uh, used to feel unhappy because students are not respecting our students, their behavior, their gestures are not uh, good like this. Instead of uh, suffering that, I, I am proactive uh, so that what can I do so that uh, they will improve or they will come forward uh, to learn. This is helping me to conduct the classes in a better better manner. Thank you. 
very nice sir. one more question uh, that is regarding your ERP, um, health issues or something uh, after EHV, what sort of self-regulation practices you have made before EHV and after EHV for your self-improvement, uh, health improvement? Ah, yes, uh, means from, uh, I think uh, when I started attending this morning sessions, from that day I am working. Uh, I have hardly missed, in a year I will miss only hardly 5 to 10 days. Every every morning I'll go for a walk of 5:30 to 6:30. In that same time I will listen to the content content also. This is my routine. And also why intake or intake also. Uh, I used to prepare a lot of fried items at home to to the children to the family members. I have that habit of preparing it. So that I have reduced it. Even though if even I even if I prepare, I'll take only few. Uh, and especially the uh, sugar content it means uh, last uh, one almost one year before uh, my sugar levels were also almost 100 so it was an alarming situation then i decided not to take any sweets after that and i will i am not taking any uh, what is that uh, in uh, uh, i'll take plain milk in that i will not take sugar i will not e eat any sweets so means I am finding that which which are the things which will help 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 the help me to keep it in, uh, fit and fine, and also I didn't I never I, earlier in my younger age I I didn't learn the swimming also. Last year my son and daughter I, uh, they also uh, joined for swimming class. Then I also joined and uh, I even to this month also I am going in the summer vacation means and walking and after the walking i'll come home uh, i'll do surya namaskar some breathing exercises so these are the things i am doing it so which is helping me and i have reduced almost uh, 10 kgs of weight and now i am more fit and fine uh, like that that is what my thing i'm doing very nice very nice uh, changes here adapted. very nice uh, thank you bhaiya thank you thank you sunil thank you bhai Nice, nice question, Srinivas Gupta ji, and the response also is good. Thank you. So, now before we go to the uh, question of uh, Devi Prasanna Misra ji, let me request Shamla Didi to give her comments regarding Arvind Paya sharing. Shamla Didi, Namaste, over to you. Ji. So, Namaste, Arvind ji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Yeah. Nice to hear your honest and sincere sharing today. Um, I think the exploration that uh, you started perhaps in 2021 or maybe 2022 is progressing nicely. And uh, some of the things, although you didn't uh, share very um, uh, proactively, uh, but I think with uh, Srinivasji's questions, some things did come up uh, about the changes that you are making in your you know, daily routine and how you are making effort to keep the body healthy, uh, how you are working with uh, students, with your family members, uh, with the change in the feeling within you. That is all very positive, very nice to hear. Um, I think, uh, have you... After this 2022 UHV2, have you uh, done any other workshops also? No, Didi, I didn't do anything. I am attending morning sessions only. Okay, okay. So I think maybe a little more clarity uh, will be helpful if you can do another, maybe now the summer is uh, approaching. So if you have occasion to be able to do another workshop, there may be several face-to-face -face workshops or online workshops that you know you may be able to find time to attend. So if that is the case, then it would be helpful, I think, to attend uh, one or two of those, maybe one of those in the summer. And of course, the morning sessions, uh, hopefully you will be continuing. I think uh, these are all ways and means of reminders to us to you know, explore within. So 
that can continue. And I think that will be useful. Lot of changes you are able to experience. Little more if you were, you know, if you had uh, related with some more incidents relating to the family members or others in your day-to-day -day interactions. Um, it may have been uh, more easily relatable for others, but uh, perhaps next time you can do that. And also, if you can involve your family members, I think that will also be very nice. You didn't mention about that, but I'm not sure if your family members are also, you know, able to see these changes and able to see the significance or are interested in this. So you may want to mention something about that. Um, uh, yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, uh, SDV, my especially I used to, uh, uh, means uh, we used to have uh, me and my wife, uh, uh, I used to expect a lot of things from her. Uh, means uh, whatever she does in that, I used to find faults or this should be done. I used to give suggestions again and again. Uh, every day while going means uh, uh, she'll prepare, uh, while going car, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll both work in same institute. Uh, she, because she prepares morning breakfast, lunch, everything. And she, she'll be always, every day there will be a bit late. Earlier, I used to get frustrated sitting in the car. Uh, car. Now, I'll, I won't do anything. So it may be five minutes or ten minutes late, we'll go and we'll reach the college. And I will not ask her why you are late. Why, and also, internally, I don't have any uh, opposition to her. Because she has work, she'll do, that is why she is late. Or sometimes I'll do whatever the required. I'll take her bag, uh, whatever the things, uh, her laptop, everything I'll go and I'll sit. And that uh, while well, every day, at least uh, in once in a month, twice in a month, we used to have uh, means verbal fights uh, like that uh, going to the college. That now 99% has been reduced. And also I will not, uh, I use, that is my habit of uh, doubting their intention. That is the major thing uh, I I just removed from other things. Means others also have same uh, uh, intention, but they may not able to do so. So that is what uh, it has improved a lot. And while interacting with my son and daughter, earlier I used to shout a lot. Now, if I want to tell them any anything, I'll think twice, thrice. How if uh, in which way if I tell. So they will improve and they will correct themselves. Like that, I will see. I will not shout, even though somebody is making mistake. And also, I used to have a thing like uh, everything should be in order. Uh, not, uh, means uh, it should not disturb me, like that. But now I won't expect such things. I am giving the time to the others. And also, I am taking time to respond to the other, other situation and their words, everything I am doing, it that has improved a lot. Very nice. Very nice to hear. So all the very best to you. Best wishes for your further journey also. Exploration. Keep exploring and uh, seeing the changes in yourself and keeping the body healthy. And you know, uh, like you said, uh, if you can do some more volunteering, that will also be very useful. All the best to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.